October 31st, 2005. This is Geek Nights with Rim and Scott. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. We should probably put Leroy in there. Whatever. Do-do-do-do. Oh, I got it. You start the news like... But not the noise, dude. Me going... You want to do that? Originally, we're going to have the closing music be all, you know, So, uh, I guess we could do that. Or I could make that sound... I think that's copyrighted or patented by whatever news no, originally we'll used that. No, we'll just make it something else. It's just Morse code. We'll make it say something geeky. Ah, let's do this in Morse code. That's real slick. I like it. All right, we're good. Okay, so, Scalito. Scalito. So, um, personal lawyer didn't cut it, to no surprise. So he picks the most conservative judge he could find in all of the appeals courts. Samuel Alito. Yeah. Um, He's a little conservative. A little bit. Yeah. Because, I mean, the Senate's main gripe, at least the Republicans' main gripe with Myers, wasn't that they didn't know about her. It was that she wasn't proven to be conservative and not. Well, this guy's real conservative, but, you know, you look he's at— He's not real, real conservative. hes I don't think he's— yeah, states rights. I think he's more. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Roe versus Wade. They they pretty much call him Scalito when his name is Alito because he's Scalia too. But if you look at well, there's a Scalia, however you want to pronounce. I don't know how the correct pronunciation. I've heard both, but Scalia. I look at his voting record and like on a lot of things he votes the way I want. On a lot of things he votes horribly, and I I don't want him to be alive. Well, I worry because uh, Susanna Sherry, she's uh, actually a university law professor at Vanderbilt, and she said that he would, quote, allow a lot more government support of religion than Justice O'Connor did. Yeah, um, that's not good. See, I'm all down with religion, but uh, I don't think SCOTUS should uh, have any kind of backing for it. Or you know, or you know the the problem here is if they let in just a little bit of religion and not enough. If they let in too much religion, because we'll just fly in there with our flying spaghetti monsters. Yeah, but if the Supreme Court votes against us, there's no one to appeal to. Well, no, but the thing is, is that if they give someone else some other religion, some sort of you know nudge, then we just run in there and we say we demand the flying spaghetti monster also gets the same nudge. Yeah, and then we'll do with the, we'll have the uh, schism, the Ramanites. <laughs> and the uh, Pastafarians. <laughs> but, I mean, he might not get confirmed. The Senate might filibuster until the end of the Bush administration. We don't know what's going to happen. Mm. Oh, well. Speaking of the Supreme Court, they found two more moons on Pluto, apparently. Mo- Isn't Pluto, they don't even know if it's a planet or a moon or what? Because nobody's decided uh, how big you have to be to be yeah, a planet. so basically what the news is, is a tiny rock that's far away from our planet has rocks has a tiny rock floating around it might have two more tinier rocks floating around it that we couldn't see until recently yeah so now this makes you wonder that like we can see like jupiter sized planets at like very close stars how do we know they don't have like earth sized rocks around and we can't see if we can barely see rocks around pluto these rocks that are infinitely farther away, well, not infinitely farther, but many, many more times farther away, who knows well, what's going on out there? Pluto was discovered in 1930. That was right. a fairly long time ago. Pluto's moon wasn't discovered until 1978. And now in 2005, we discovered two smaller rocks. Well, in 2050, we should be discovering the um, mountains of Pluto <laughs> and the mountains on the moons of Pluto. I don't think there are any mountains on Pluto. No? I think Pluto is just a rock. It's just smooth? I don't think it's big enough to where you could qualify as mountain. It, must, it, it can't be perfectly smooth. It has to have some hills and craters and things. Yes, because obviously I was trying to say that Pluto is perfectly smooth. It is made of cheese, and it has people on it. Cheese isn't perfectly smooth. Some cheese is. Well, no, nothing's perfectly smooth. It's made of atoms, little quarks bouncing around. Hey, they could all be crystalline in a perfect grid, and that's smooth. No, because it's the grid itself isn't smooth, and there's gaps in it. It could be really cold, and then they'll be really close together and smooth. Okay, yeah, so I guess maybe a Bose-Einstein condensate might be smooth. 
So is a baby's ass uh, bosine condensate? Whatever. Moving on. It's Halloween. Yeah, and uh, I didn't do anything this year. Me either. I wanted to carve a pumpkin. I didn't. I was going to go to the parade downtown. I went to a J-Rock concert instead. So, you know what really bothers me, though? Oh, uh, what? It's Halloween, all right? It's a good holiday. like the holiday. like candy. like scaring stuff. Like jumping out <laughs> and going boo, right? Like mischief. Like costumes. I saw like three news stories today about people who think their ghosts are real. And I had to link to Randy like four times. Um, uh, I'll just point out that while I was in the city, and it's not really Halloween related, but I saw these ads for psychic detectives. And this is on Court TV. Court TV? And the Is it a su- fictional the, the, show? The, the subscript is, it says psychic detectives. This isn't based on a true story, colon. This is a true story. Yeah, so we can sue them, right, for the false advertising? Well, I guess uh, it is a true story. Whatever they show really happened. The psychic part was just made up. Something like that. Something like that. Randy should buy some commercial time on Court TV. Of course, there's also a lot of people who are still believing in things like someone's going to put razor blades in the apples they give to kids or... You know, you know, at least, at least, wow, that's crazy. You could put a razor blade in an apple. There's no way you could put a razor blade in an apple that I wouldn't see before I. You'd into see it. it, but you know what? You're never gonna see a ghost ever. Uh, uh, not a real one, at least. Well, hey, if I did, I'd get a million bucks out of Randy. Sweet. But, uh, no With those could... million bucks, I wonder how many razor blades you could buy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you know, could probably uh, just buy a bunch of... Ch- if you really wanted to see children eat apples full of razor blades, if you won the million dollars, you could just buy children and feed what? them <laughs> and feed them apples with razor blades in them All any right, day Roman of the Polanski, year. Roman Polanski, just, uh, yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Roman Polanski is a very famous pedophile who fled a the country. A famous pedophile? Because he fled the country and he's still out there. Why they never got him. Why don't they get him? Because he's not... He got away. All right. Now, how does razor blades and apples relate to pedophilia? Because you want to do something to little kids. Not sexual. And I don't want to do it. I was just suggesting it that whoever <laughs> did want to do it was obviously going about it the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. Though I always wondered, like, say someone actually was putting razor blades in apples, and say somehow you didn't see the a- the razor blade sticking out of the apple or the hole in the apple where the razor blade was shoved in. Say they were sicko and they liked this sort of thing. Like, oh, I love the idea of a kid eating a razor blade in an apple. How would they see the kid eat their... How would they get any pleasure out of it? Well, I imagine it would be a lot like the old man who tells you to get off his lawn. I mean, he sees you get off his lawn, but he doesn't see you go home and cry to your mommy, even though he thinks about it and laughs. (laughs) (laughs) So Bill Gates, he gave like a a jillion dollars to fight malaria. A jillion, eh? Yeah, hundreds of millions, something like 250 uh-huh. million, something big. Why malaria, of all things? Well, the thing is, if you actually look at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation thingy, they're always like, we give money to fight the diseases that the poor people have instead of the rich people diseases like diabetes and such. Ah. So malaria is a poor people disease. It has a cure. We just need to spend money to give the cure to people who have it and kill mosquitoes. So it's pretty much a sure bet. But I realized why he's doing this. Huh. You see, Apple gets in the news with their little iPod video. Microsoft doesn't get in the news. Google gets in the news. Microsoft doesn't do anything that anyone cares about. Google gets in the news with their Googling. Microsoft (laughs) Vista gets negative news. So Bill Gates has to go and spend money to fight malaria to get some positive news for the Microsoft. Uh, Notice how there's no positive news for any of their um, products, services. Ah. I saw a thing talking about how Microsoft Office was good on, like, a Windows blog somewhere written by a guy who works for Microsoft once. There was a guy who was using the Vista beta as his OS, and he talks about they have the ribbon on all the programs now. I don't know about the ribbon. I never actually used it, so I can't Yeah, me either. Well, you know, it's kind of moot because I dumped the Windows. I'm done with that. Totally dumping the Windows. And you know what? If the ribbon is any good, someone will steal it and make it for the Linux. So, speaking of Apple, they sold a million oh, yeah. videos in 20 days.